Hello, my name is Emily from Crochet Creations and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are bright and early, not like ridiculously because I don't have that kind of self-control and discipline, but we are up early today so that we can get started for the autumn equinox. It is September 22nd, the autumn equinox this year in 2022, and I just opened my autumn equinox day of box from Dying Wishes Yarn Co. Sarah is one of my friends. And I will tell you, I knew what goodies were in here. And also, I asked Sarah what the yarn would look like before I bought the mystery box. So I knew kind of what it would look like, though it's really fun to see it in person and to see what the colors all look like in yarn form. I love it. So this is only one version of the box. Some people got the box with lots of mini skeins so that you could open a mini skein every day leading up to the autumn equinox I just got the day of box and let's see let's start with there's a pin from Twin Mountain Handcrafts it's beautiful leaf it's not so pretty the detail is really nice and then there's candle from good faith handmade it's pumpkin festival roast pumpkin bourbon and warm spices so that'll be nice for having like a a fall candle experience we have used up all our fall candles as of this point and I knew this one was coming so I was waiting to buy more so I could actually use this one like as soon as it came in and then the sock set devilish DK so it's her DK base 7525 merino nylon super wash merino nylon the colorway is basic birch and pumpkin spice so my plan for today, I'm gonna try to knit a pair of DK weight socks in just a day. Just today. I thought it would be a great way to celebrate the autumn equinox, light this candle, make these socks. That is the plan. We shall see because we've got other stuff going on. I've got a toddler. You might hear her in the background. She's just waking up, so I'm starting to hear her on the monitor. So I've got a toddler to take care of. I have a house to, you know, clean and all the boring stuff. Also, we're gonna go on a trip soon. Tomorrow, we're gonna go camping, and so I need to make sure to, you know, tie up loose ends and make sure that we are packed and ready to go for that. So, we have other things on the docket today. I'm not gonna knit 100% of the time, but I'm gonna try to squeeze in as much knitting as I can and get a pair of socks done. I'm going to do the laid edges pattern, and I can't remember who it's by, so I'll make sure to put that up above and down below. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's a basic DK weight sock with a cable down the side of it. So I thought it would be fun as like a level up, but also something pretty simple to do. I have my needles all ready to go. I'm using a 2.5 or a three millimeter magic loop. So I've got these ready. I'm not going to check my gauge. I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna go for it and make sure they fit, you know, do the cuff, make sure that it's not too loose and whatnot, and go from there. Uh, so let's get this yarn wound up and get the baby and let's get going. Oh, really? Hey, Georgia, can you get down, please? Well, I have that on, there's no room for you. On this chair. There we go. Sometimes, while you're getting breakfast ready for the toddler, your toddler knots your yarn all over your winder, even though you'd already taken your yarn off the winder. So let's fix that. Okay, so I'm going to now weigh these to help me as I'm knitting my sock. I don't think I want to split up the skein into two small skeins but it'll be really good to know where the halfway mark is. 
that I'm not going to run out of yarn when I'm knitting my socks. 105 grams for the big boy and the mini. 20 grams exactly. So, maybe I'll do... Mama. Oh, okay. Thanks, baby. Maybe I'll do cuff and toes in this one. And the rest of the sock will be in this. Just do something different. Normally, if I don't do all three heels, toes, and cuffs, I'll do, like, heels and toes. But toes and cuffs is a little different, so maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna measure something. Very cool. <clears throat> Look, if we put something on it, and then we put bunny on it, and the numbers change. <gasps> and if we put the hat on it, and they change again. Yeah. That's how much the hat weighs. So, hello, hello. I've been doing some editing this morning. I do have a podcast episode that's supposed to come out tomorrow on Friday. So, it will be out by the time this video comes out. Hi, baby. What would you like to watch? Uh, that one? There you go. Hi. <laughs> so... Okay, I don't know how well you can hear that, but <laughs> George is watching some uh, Cocomelon on the iPad while I get some editing done. I have, I'm only going to budget like three hours to finish editing this video, and I've already spent half an hour doing so, and I'm ahead of schedule, which is great, so I'm not going to do all three hours now. I'm hoping to do about an hour and a half now, and then I'll do an hour and a half after Georgia goes to bed, because I can't guarantee that she will nap today. So trying to, you know, have morning relaxation TV time since we've already played outside, and then we will, um, I'll have tonight to finish working on it. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I'm hoping to get some really good progress on this editing, and then I can sit down and knit on my socks kind of interspersed between taking care of things for our trip tomorrow, camping in Yosemite. So there's a lot going on today, lots of moving parts in my brain, and if I can take care of a lot of the editing really fast, then that will help for sure. Okay, so what a morning. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon not gone very far in my socks. Uh, at least I got a lot of work done on my editing and we got to pack some and I set up a list for our camping and whatnot. So we like have a really good start on getting ready for our trip. Georgia just went down for a nap. We'll see if she actually sleeps, but man, I didn't even finish the cup yet. <laughs> I have a few more rounds to go and then I can move on to the main body of the sock. I don't know why I thought that I could knit two socks in a day, even if they're DK weight. Like, why did I think I could knit two socks in a day that I have to edit part of a video and pack for our camping trip this weekend? That was like really dumb. Anyway, so my modify goal, I, I do think I can finish one sock today. So that's really what I'm gonna make sure I can do. And we'll see how far I get. And life is busy with a toddler. There's only so much knitting you can squeeze in. I was able to squeeze in a few rows just 
relaxing with Georgia a little bit and you know with her playing a little bit so that's good and that's really how I can squeeze in the knitting time is taking my knitting wherever I go especially something small like socks let's get this cuff done and then maybe start on the main body of the sock and that cabling pattern so I can have that established ah. Okay, so now I've kind of gotten the hang of this stitching. It's not exactly a cabled stitch, but it's got this cute little texture, pretty easy to do. It's just a three round repeat, but I thought I would just show it here on the video because I had a little bit of a hard time understanding just from the written pattern. And this is a free pattern, Laid Edges by Kelly McPherson. So let's get into it. Three row repeat. You're gonna knit the first stitch, but you're going to wrap your yarn three times around your needle when you knit it so you'll have like all that extra space you'll end up making these giant slip stitches doing that knit four and then you're going to do that same slip stitch thing <laughs> so you're going to knit but wrap your yarn around three times so that you get lots of extra fabric there so that's how you do that knit across and then you'll do the same thing on the other side knit the back and then come back to the front of the sock So now that we're on our second row repeat, you're going to slip this whole stitch, so you'll have all that extra. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> you'll just slip it. You'll knit the next four. And then again, slip that stitch that you have the extra wraps on. And then same thing, you'll just work across. So this is your second row repeat. You'll knit all the other stitches, but on the stitches that have extra wraps, you're going to slip them. And I find it easier to just slip them all together rather than trying to slip each individual wrap because you don't need each individual wrap to do this stitch. You just need all that extra yarn <laughs> to do the slip stitch. Okay, we are on a third stitch repeat and this is where you're gonna do the like little mini cabling <laughs> so for this first stitch that you come to you are going to put that on a cable needle in front of your work I'm just gonna hold it there because there's so much extra yarn I'm not worried about it dropping knit the next two stitches and then you're gonna knit this dropped stitch that you could put on that cable needle but I didn't because I'm lazy. Ta -da. And then for the next grouping, you are going to put these two regular stitches behind your work on a cable needle. But I'll show you how I do it without a cable needle. I'm going to slip these two stitches and then I'm going to drop the large loop in front, move these two stitches back, and then I can pick up this looped stitch and put it on my needle. So it's essentially doing the same thing in reordering the stitches and what I do when, and I think I twisted that stitch. Did I twist it? No, okay, we're good. So then I knit the big loop first, and then I can knit the next two stitches that have been behind. Ta-da! You're gonna do that same thing again on the other side of the front needle. And you're just gonna repeat those three rounds. So pretty simple, actually. It was just a little hard to visualize with the extra wraps on the needle and slipping and cabling. It was just a little hard to visualize. So I thought I would share it with you.
All right, it's been a little bit since I have had a chance to come on here, but things got a little busy, had some last minute errands to run before our camping trip, things to grab, dinner, putting the toddler down for bed, taking a shower, all that stuff. So, oh, and I finished editing my video that's uploading tomorrow that will have been uploaded by the time you see this video. So I'm glad to have that taken care of, but now it is 9.55 p.m. and I am able to sit down again to work on my sock. I was able to work on it a little bit as we were driving around and such, but really it's been busy and I have not been able to work on it at all. But I finished the leg and I've just started the heel. So it's a heel flap and gusset construction. This is, I think it's called an eye of partridge heel, so it's not a typical slip stitch heel flap where all your slip stitches line up vertically. In this kind, they alternate, and so it gives it a cool little texture on the back of the heel flap. So I'm not far along, maybe a third of the way through the heel flap, not even that probably and we're gonna be working on this. I might not even get uh, one sock done today. I don't know why I made this my goal. I thought it would be such a cool idea, especially because I was honestly pretty close with my last pair of DK weight socks I tried to knit in a day, but there's just a lot going on. When I'm home most of the day with my toddler and I have a long list of things to do for work and for our home, getting ready for a trip, all that stuff. So I, I don't think I'll finish a pair. <laughs> I may not even finish one sock, but I've lit the candle that came in the package from Good Faith Handmade. It's very fragrant, very, yeah, the pumpkin is strong, which is nice. It's not as much spice, but pumpkin for sure. And yeah, nice and cozy. It smells like baked goods. I love it. And I've got that going and I have pulled up my socks. So I'm going to put some more time into this and I will let you know how far I get tonight. I tend to stay up fairly late, like until like 11.30 or so, so I do have some time. We shall see how far I get on this sock tonight. Oh, uh, This yarn's working up so beautifully. I love it so much. Okay, so drum roll please for how much I finished. It is about 11.30. Ta-da! <laughs> so this is actually a longer leg than I normally do on a sock, but I finished the heel and the gusset and I've started on the foot. I'll have to put it on and show you how far along it actually looks. And yeah, so definitely did not even finish one sock. It's really fun to do these challenges to see kind of how much I can knit and to actually kind of measure it. It'd be fun to see how much time I actually spend knitting, like keep track of the minutes and hours and whatnot in a day and see what that equates to. I think it'd be fun. So if there are any other challenges that you would want me to do, let me know down below because I think this DK weight socks challenge I've given myself is just like not for this season of life. Things are just too busy. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever do it though. I feel like I have it in me. So one of these days I will, but, but maybe not this season of life. So yes, like I said, if you have any other ideas for challenges of either things to make or time to challenges, like how much can I knit in an hour? How much can I crochet in an hour? Things like that. I'm trying to keep track of how much time I spend knitting or crocheting within a day or week or whatnot, let me know down below because I think it'd be fun to do like a little bit of a different take for a vlog type of a video. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this little excursion experience as I tried to fit in as much knitting as I could on this autumn equinox to enjoy this sock set box from my friend Sarah of Dying Wishes Yarn Co. I'll make sure to link her down below. And I will see you next time for another video. Happy making. Bye.